So, just quite by chance, so working with Claire Unwin before, we bumped into Denise Moses, who's part of which committee or group, Denise? Access group. I'm chair, I'm chair of the access group in Carlisle, and I also work for some disability groups and the police uh, complaints commission. Well, it's not a police, police, police complaints commission, it's advisory group for um, critical friends of the police. Very good. And you, you were saying something before about get one of the issues with bringing people into the, into the city itself. It's, it's an awful lot better than it used to be for people in wheelchairs, don't get me wrong. It's a great deal better. And we have got uh, shop mobility and everything, things like that. But they're taking an awful lot of the, the spaces away. And they're not, the disabled spaces that are, are not used in the right way. And they're not policed in the right way. Right, and what, what's, what, tell us what just happened a little 10 minutes There's ago. There's a man parked up the road and he's sitting in a disabled space reading a newspaper, waiting, he's, he's just acting as a chauffeur for whoever's shopping. That is against every law in the book. And he knows it if he reads his book that comes with his orange badge, his blue badge. I'll go and take an embarrassing uh, photo of him now. <laughs> mm. Well, it would. That's, how the, that's what they need, actually. Brilliant. Usually I go and stop, I go and have a word with them. <laughs> get a good strop on, eh? I don't get good a strop on, no. I never lose <laughs> my patience with them. I just there say that, do you realise that you're stopping people parking in a disabled space? Yeah. It just needs a wee bit of thought, because yeah. they can be in the same position as Claire and I in an instant. Yeah, absolutely. And I don't think people realise that. No, no, that's uh, so true. Right, thanks very much, Denise. Sorry to put you on the spot like that. All right, <laughs> welcome.